Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my let's play of Elusive Exhibitions. Budget. And uh, as you can see, I've made some beautiful art with these uh, opening orbs, and I am going to. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're just pretty, and now I'm going to make them go away. Like so. Just like that. So I have uh, finished the first three rooms of the parody patterns, and now I've got the, the gel rooms left to do, or the mud tar stuff rooms, I guess would be the appropriate thing, left to do. And I don't know which one I want to start with, so in the usual manner, I'm going to close my eyes. And it looks like I'm doing gel. Okay, we looked at this one last time. We have not a whole lot here. We have one gel baby and one mimic potion, but I don't know what the point of the mimic potion is. So I'm not in any real danger from ta attacking anything. The only problem with the parody th things is, uh, with the exception of the outer edges, I think, I have to like go in circles. So let me show you what I mean. Where a well, crap. You don't have to go in circles per se, but I can't like go quite anywhere that I want. I have to. Uh, I can't go across squares. I have to only. I can only go this way. And once I've gone that way, I can't like revisit them because. Okay. Well, let's just see what the problem is here. Cause I kind of forget. Uh, see, like I can't. I can't get across this square here. I'd have to do something more elaborate, like, uh, not that this is particularly challenging, but, you know, slightly more elaborate. Where I'm going to go in a big old circle right here. Yep, so this gets me to this gel, baby, but what is the problem? So there, the room's technically cleared at this point. Now it's just about leaving that apparently is the issue? Yes, leaving is most definitely the issue, I think, because there is no obvious path. I've cut off all of my exits. There's, No, that's not true. I have not cut off all of my exits. I've got one left here. Uh... Yeah, let's just see where this goes. <laughs> Why not? Okay, if I just keep moving in like a ziggy zaggy, so I'm gonna. Uh, well, we'll see. I might be able to back up and salvage something here after a bit. Is there anything? So I'll be going here, here. I really. Uh oh. Ah ah, that is in fact a problem. I can't exit this room unless I do it from right here. Got it. But yeah, there's no way. This I can't this force here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to approach it from like a weird behind angle and see if that uh becomes more usable. So I can go like like that and hopefully I can pull something off that's a little smarter. I don't know how the mimic potion's gonna play in just yet, but I'm sure I will find out. Now see this is yeah, I can no big deal here. Just keep doing this. Okay. Uh ooh, hold on. What's the best way to get to uh I can't cross paths here, so yeah, I'll do it like this. This is sort of fun. Alright, and then I will get cut up like this. Now, what are my options here? I have a mimic potion. What's gonna be the issue leaving this area? If I go up here. Uh Ah, there's no way to get from I can get to here, but then I really can't 
yeah, this becomes cut off unless. See how the pro because I'm here and this is on like a different set. Like I'm trying to think about if I move it, move towards this guy, and I'm not uh, I'm not able to backtrack at all. I can do uh, like once I've moved in a direction, I can't go left here. I can go from like one corner to another corner on a different ring, but not so from here to here. I can move across this ring. I can do this, but and then I can you take it across. Um, yeah, let's try that. I'm gonna ignore the mimic potion for just a moment. There's nothing harming me from just leaving it there. I can always backtrack just fine, so that's not a big deal. What was I thinking? I was like, I had an idea where I could use parody to come at it from a different angle. That I didn't see the problem with, so... Not parody, I don't know what I'm using the word parody. I have no idea what it honestly even means in this context. Something about evens and odds. Yeah, like, if I do this, what's wrong with that? Alright. So... Oh, I see the problem. From here, I can't get... I can get here, but then I won't be able to... Yeah, I need to get into this chamber from going up. So what I will do is I will come back here, and since I have the Mimic Potion free, it's pretty clear what I need to do with it. At least I think it's clear. Uh huh. So I am going to use it right now. To... Can I place on Force Arrows? I don't remember. No, I cannot. That's not the problem, though. I just want to put it right there. This allows me to access... So even after I cut across this way, I'll be able to access this upper one because nothing will be in the way. I think this should work. All right. Yes, I'm reasonably confident that this is how the puzzle is supposed to go. Uh, actually, did I botch that? I think I did. I think it needs to be this one. Wasn't this the one I pushed? Uh, oh dear. Hmm. Well, actually, let's try this one then. If this isn't going to work, then... Because that'll at least... No, that... Oh yeah, this sh this should be okay. Let's see what happens. I said I was going to be okay last time, and I definitely was not, but eh, we'll see. So if I cut this one now, this gives me a little more leeway. I don't need you anymore, I don't believe. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. And I can cut up here. The room is clear, right? Yes, so I can just go out and leave. Nothing else is alive. I can... Alright, good. And the room is done. Go me! Alright, now which one do I want to do? I can either do the tar one... Or the mud one. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so I have two possible entrances. I have a little bit of ore mites and a single mimic potion. So what becomes the problem in this guy is probably since it's gel, is like once I start moving, I have to start doing this sort of movie thingy. I start blocking off my corners really fast. Like I can probably. I wonder. Probably the the tar stuff's probably or sorry, tar stuff. Or my stuff is probably there for a reason, which makes me leery about leaving it empty. corners aren't any problem. Alright, so I can move across this way. I'm going to, for the meantime though, ignore the... Uh, potion until I have a good place of where to put it. I'm going to just try stuff and get a feel for how this level plays out. 
in the meantime. Shouldn't be too awful. So now the room's clear. Now why can't I leave? I don't actually quite see it yet. I'm sure I will in a moment. Oops. I'm starting to see it. Right here is my problem. I can't actually get around this corner, and there's almost no way I could have done it since I already blocked off my path. And even if I went higher, yeah, I would have the same problem. Let's say I had this free because I did something like this to get all of this open. Yeah, then I would be blocked from this side with, for the exact same reason. I would block this and this would still have the bubble. So I need to get rid of this. And I have an idea already. Good. Uh, okay. And it does indeed involve both that uh, Mimic Potion and the Ormite stuff. So, we learned in, I think it was Journey to Rooted... Sorry, I keep bumping my mic. Journey to Rooted Hold, where if uh, a Mimic and a Me hit Tar at the same time, for example, if its sword went here, uh, yeah, if its sword went there, while mine was here, we would cut this tar. And then I'd be able to cut this, and then I'd be able to cut this, and I'd be free. So I need to go place my Mimic and figure out what positions our relative swords will be in. Because I'll be able to use the Ormite to... Uh... Okay, so... The only way this puzzle is going to work is if is from this angle. I have to rotate my sword to the right. I can't... I mean, I can't actually do it the other way. Um, because... I'll be hitting this guy here, and I can't do that. I have to hit this one, so it'll be rotating clockwise. Now, if I'm rotating clockwise, and my sword is facing to the left... Oh, and by the way, I'm pretty sure because of how this is going to work, and there's no way I can get it caught on anything, I will be up here. So, while its sword is facing northeast, my sword needs to be facing directly west. So I need to be one, two, three west so I can, when I when we uh, rotate to clockwise, we both move into our relative positions. So if I'm facing due west, my sword is going to be uh, one, two, three spaces away to the, uh, counterclockwise from whatever position the mimics is. So what can I do to make this work? I only have three spaces uh, in which to come out of this particular problem I pose for myself. I'm wondering if I made a mistake here, or if I can just make it work. Uh, okay, so if I'm here, and I'm three spaces to the left, no, 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 uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to, whatever, let's say I'm south. If I'm three spaces to the left, then I'm going to go down here and move that way. So I'm technically, so as you can see, if my face is... Yes, this is perfect. Alright, so I'm just going to ignore this and move along my merry way right now. This should solve the puzzle. This hasn't been too bad. Uh, I was talking in C chat to Jot earlier, and he said that most people thought this place, or this level was unusual, but not particularly hard. I'm kind of inclined to agree. Yep, that opens that up just like I thought it would. And I get to kill this god-awful mimic, and I'm pretty sure the room is done. And I can leave in peace. Not bad. Not bad at all. I really like that. Okay. Uh, I'm just cruising right through these, aren't I? One more to do. Actually, I'm going to take a look at the secret room. Because if I'm this, doing this well with these, maybe this one makes a little more sense. There's a... Note the additional force arrows under the tar stuff in the northeast corner of the grid. 29.3... Ah, and, okay, that's good to know, and 33, 7, so these guys, what's the point of that? I have clones. Oh my god, no! <laughs> There's a citizen. Why? Why is this happening? Oh dear. So what caused it to stop changing? 
Is there a... Whatever. I'm actually not going to do this. Is there a way I can... There we go. Yeah, I probably got you could click on it. So yeah, I'm going to ignore that for now. That's too much work. Da -da -da -da. Let's, uh, let's get this guy out of the way. Alright. I looked at this one last time, whenever that was ago. Once again, we have the potion and ormite problem. So what's the issue? It's leaving was the issue, like everything. Not really killing the guy. Uh, where you can't actually make U-turns, just kind of like the other ones. You have to kind of do this little more uh, excited trip around. So I can get to the guy pretty fast. But uh, getting to the ore... Not so easy. So let's work our way to the Mimic Potion and see if we can't figure out what we can do with it. I can definitely... I have to go this way. I'm pretty sure this won't work. Yes, no, there's no way that'll work. Get this way. Before I use it, I'm going to do my usual tactic. Can I get through here? No, I can't. Ah! That makes perfect sense. So I need to go through the center of this, probably, because I can't actually get out of here no matter what direction my sword is facing. If I go backwards, it'll hit something just trying to correct myself. So let's work up towards that. See if we can't spot something on how to use it. So this is an example when I would... If I could get that other side to cut. I don't really does it really matter which way this goes? Okay, let's 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 think about this through. Which which direction would be best? Uh I'm gonna probably use the mimic to cut the other side and that's how that's gonna work. And the problem is I don't want the mimic cutting anything more than it needs to. And I'm gonna be way over here by the time I use it. So where's the best spot to put him while I'm keeping myself busy? I'm thinking it's actually here, and then I could just cut it. If I could make the pathway across this way, so I move through it this direction, and then I could just cut across this diagonal here. Be and the reason I want that is I can place the Mimic here to start that, and I can keep his sword mostly flush against the wall there, and I think that'll be best. Uh, I Like I said, I think that'll be best. Uh, we'll find out. <clears throat> okay, like this because I'll be moving almost entirely in this singular direction in the meantime. So I want this to happen. And I want the Mimic to do that. And that, oops, now I can, ah, crap, I can move backwards through this and stab the Mimic and know he's no longer my problem. I am pretty sure that solves the room. That was not bad. Meh, whatever. Okay. Uh, do I have everything? Looks like it's green on the map, and I can exit the level. All right, that's that totally wasn't awful. Just nice little mazes. All of those were pretty much mazes, and I like mazes. Mazes are cool, unless they're the level 13 King Dugan's Dungeon Maze, and they can go straight to hell. But no big deal. All right, so I've got a puzzle. I got three secret rooms that I know of now, and I can just totally leave. Cool. Uh, Rabithra has to decide what level to, level to visit next. I am rocking this hold. Okay. Hmm. There might be a bonus thing here at the end. Because uh, I'm getting a little nervous about this. So, last one we have, besides secret rooms and whatever else is left, is Arctan 1 half. Playing on the whole 30, 60, 90 triangle idea, looks like. Arctan 1 half, of course, being uh, the ratio between the opposite and the tangential things, well, in the domain the Arctan can actually process, so when I, uh, actually no, Arctan is when, I'm blanking here, okay, so Arc this tangent is opposite over adjacent, uh, one half would be when the, uh, it's at, has a, uh, I guess, yeah, it'd be a, a 60, where the angle is, it'd be the tangent of 60. No, that's not right either. I I don't know what I'm thinking. 
I could, because the tangent of, whatever, tangent of 45 is 1, I think, because it's the same opposite over, yeah, because it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So yeah, I think it's tangent of of 60 would be 1 half. So arctan of 1 half would be 60 degrees. I have to, I have to check now. <laughs> no, I won't check. Whatever, I probably did all my math wrong, and I'm super embarrassed. It's been a while since I've done trig. What do we have here? The last of the everything. All right, let's go in. Let's do this. Where Beethor learns that there are more important directions that are important besides the eight regular ones. Uh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, this is pretty. Uh... Okay, so this, this, ah, this is a hint. This tells me that, yeah, like how, where I can stand to make a guard turn his sword, I think. And is it different on the other side? I can't actually tell. It looks symmetric, but I can't, I'm not really certain. I'm reasonably sure it's symmetric. Huh, okay. Good to know. So what do we have here? Let's take our little tour of the rooms like we normally do. That is super nice. That is a good good design. Yeah. Okay. Rock golems doing things. See, I can do this sort of like using that idea. We can. They take. They don't actually move and turn in the same movement, just like Beethro doesn't. So, I'm probably going to have to do a thingy. Uh, he's got to stay there, too. Uh, how am I going to make that work? All right. We're going to do a little dance where we hit these at the same time, apparently. Uh, all right, yeah. Where I'm... Yeah, yeah. All right, so that, that sort of makes a lot of sense. Well, you know, if I convince the rock go no. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, so I have to convince... Okay, the reason I have to keep this guy as a rock giant is uh, these guys are not going to want to slide down this hallway like a rock giant would like to do because they have this weird pseudo-flexible slippery thing, which golems do not. So in order to hit this button and then kill something... Well, no, I'm not even going to be able to do that. Uh, To keep something... Yeah. I will figure out late... Oh, you know what? No, I just need to keep it there for with my sword for long enough for him to move up to here, and then I don't care anymore. Then he can die and come down, and I'll kill him. But I do need to do a dance with the guard in the meantime. Okay, I'll figure that out later. I'm sure it'll be a blast. You know what I've always enjoyed? Oh, jeez. <laughs> This should be super fun. Yeah, it's going to be something like that. And then I, all right, whatever. That should be enjoyable. Uh, yeah, I'll be moving around, trying to get the guards to do things. Da 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 da. da. What do we have here? Remember, control plus wait allows you to wait up to thirty minutes at once until the end of the spawn cycle. Why would I want to do that? This is interestingly set up. I've never quite seen this arrangement before. The, hmm. So that closes the everything. Do I care about that? I definitely need... No, I gotta... How do I do this? Like, even with the guard being clever, I don't have a good way of getting to that eyeball. And the eyeball things are dropped. <sighs> yes, by this guy. So I can... But then how do I leave? I'm pretty sure the answer is I have to get the guard to go in here and then... Oops. And say, screw you, guard, I'm out of here. And then let the guard 
not get killed on... Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's how I have to do it, because then this will grow. And somehow I have to convince the guard to kill the eyeballs, and then when the eyeballs are dead... Oh, no. So let's just assume that I'm just running from the guard forever and ever. Because <laughs> I don't think the tar is going to hurt itself. Pretty sure. I, I'm a little worried that when the trap doors drop, and we'll find out, won't we? Less concerned at the moment. Yes, please lock me in. There we go. Uh, okay. I need to, like... Here, you stay there for just a moment. While I... Uh, okay. <sighs> Getting the... Right, I, I really kind of just want to see what happens when I do this. Is that going to cause any problems? Are they just going to grow? Alright, then it's not a big deal. I can probably, probably convince the guard to uh, kill all this stuff while in here, and then it's not a big deal to sort of get him uh, killed, because I'll just eventually guide him to an edge, probably. Alright, that's going to suck. I'm going to hate this room. I already can tell. I don't like messing with guards. I really don't. <sighs> All right, so those look enjoyable. Or is, where's the secret this time, I wonder? Umptlix. Are these over water? No, they're just different colors. Okay. Hey, we haven't seen mirrors for a while. Oh, yeah, this looks fun. Okay. Um... Why this? What's going on here? Uh, okay. I'm a little, little concerned. I can see how to leave. I can't see how to kill them. Oh, wait. It's because... No. Okay, there's this up in the corner. That's interesting. What does that even matter, though? Like, this has a... Like, I can't get in there. I mean, I can, but it's not going to matter. So let's just say. Let's just say I go up here. But then I... I... Oh, wait. Okay, for some reason I thought those were pits, and I don't know why. So my goal is to convince all the Omplics that the best thing they can do is get stuck on these with certain... Alright, that's going to be insane. Um... Oh, jeez. Whew, that's going to be rough. Alright. Yeah, get them restuck on different mirrors in different spots. That's gonna be crazy. Looks like Omplex follow the same rotational thingy as guards. That's good to know. What's the puzzle here? I can't get in there, so when this guy steps on this thingy, this thingy opens. When I step on this thingy, that thingy opens. And this Omplex has to get killed, because I can't leave until... Alright, so just for it to humor myself to see what the problem with this puzzle is, let's uh let's see here. If I do this Aha. Uh -huh. So that definitely kills him, but I need to delay him long enough that I can 
not have this happen. So what needs to occur is the snake needs to die first. Not how much time elapsed there? He was okay. So I need to buy quite a bit of time. That should be fun. I think I'll have fun figuring this one out. I'm still looking for trap doors which, or uh, secret walls, which I haven't seen yet. And mirrors and everything. Do I just not see any secret? I must have missed it. Maybe it was here. Maybe it was here. I don't see it. I really don't. It's not... This one's also a really tough one for me to see as far as secret images go. Uh, once again, nothing. I'm looking really close. Don't see anything though. Oops. You were the one I... Oh, there it is. I should want to go take a look at that. Um, uh, okay, so that, I have to, I have a strict timer in which I need what to happen. I get to use this. That's an interesting puzzle choice. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. So I want him to stay down there as long as possible. I don't know if the puzzle is going to be getting him off of this, or me getting to a spot where I'm not going to die immediately. Like killing them all in the same... Ah, oh, whatever, this is going to be awful. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to go check out the secret too. Uh, why do these always look so nasty? <laughs> I'm never going to postmaster or even master this hold. Oh my gosh, what? Yeah, uh, that's a lot of clone potions. I don't. All right, whatever. Nope. Okay. So on my next video, I will throw myself at this one. Oh god, I'm gonna. I am not gonna enjoy this. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> anyway, this has been your host Pearls. Doing elusive exhibitions. I am now on Arctan, one half. And I will see you all next time. Uh, uh, gosh. Yeah, bye.